most of all, I think what he would want me to talk about is is journalism and the importance of community journalism. He was killed while he was doing what he loved to do. A local author and columnist at the Miami Herald confirmed last night his brother was among those killed at the Capitol Gazette. Carl Hyacin says his brother Rob was a generous and gentle man who believed deeply in keeping the public informed. Rob Hyacin was a South Florida native and spent a lot of time in Fort Lauderdale. He also worked at the Palm Beach Post before moving to Maryland. Angela Rozier spoke to his former co-workers. Long before Rob Hyacin moved north to the Capital Gazette newsroom, he was a features writer here at the Palm Beach Post. A community and a family. That's how journalists here at the Palm Beach Post describe their newspaper and their newsroom. And Rob Hyacin, a big part of it. For us, even though he's been gone this long, there are many of us who worked with him. And even the younger people who didn't, it doesn't matter. It's a death in the family. Hyacin started his career here as a writer in the late 1980s. Reporter Christine Stapleton was right by his side. I still remember the night that Rob showed us the um, ultrasound from his first baby. And, uh, you know, he was just, I, you know, it's hard to describe someone who's like that nice in this business. Um, and, you know, my heart just breaks for his family. Staff writer Elliot Kleinberg also worked with Hyacinth. They weren't just co-workers, they were friends. I'm privileged to have worked with a guy who was such a beautiful writer, such a beautiful person, and that's one of the great things about this business. Hyacinth left the post and headed to the Baltimore Sun and into the Capitol Gazette where he was one of five staff members shot and killed Thursday. His friends here at the post admit returning to work Friday wasn't easy. Before I came in this morning, I was texting with one of the editors and she said, you know, we just, you know, we have to go on and just do what we do, like in Rob's memory. Today was not an easy day. There were a lot of tears in the newsroom. Uh, you know, the people that wrote some of the stories about Rob's being killed did it with tears in their eyes and they're better people than me. In West Palm Beach, Angela Rozier, WPBF 25 News.